Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Mia disease imaging. Mia disease is an inner ear disorder and as such can affect balance and hearing. Clinical presentation, one or both ear can be affected. The main symptom, vertical, hearing loss, tinnitus, the sensation of fullness in the ear, too low phenomenon, Occasionally experienced. The American Academy of Otolaryngology had a next surgery committee on hearing and equilibrium set criteria for diagnosis mia disease most recently revived in 1995. Certain a definition disease with histopathological confirmed. Definite a required two or more definitive episode of vertical with a hearing loss plus tinnitus and or aura. Probable only one definite. If episode of vertical and other symptoms and signs, possible definitive vertical with no associated hearing loss. Pathology, although considered to be idiopathic, there is an association with inner ear effusion and endolymphatic hydro. The role of imaging for mini disease is controversial, but a number of findings on high resolution CT and MRI have been associated with the disease. CT At high resolution temporal bone, CT, a smaller or obliterated vestibular addict. A product is more often seen in ear affected with mini disease compared to control. Moreover, a non visible vestibular aqueduct predicts circular hydro on MRI, while a normal Vestibular aqueduct predict its absence. So on the left. On the left of temporal bone, there's no vestibular aqueduct. Aperture, aperture is visible at all. On the right, there is little irregularity of the major aspect of the temporal bone, which may represent a severely narrow aqueduct opening. The inner ear appear normal malocline. This is another case of mini disease. Endolymphatic duct and sac 
finally vis visualize my lateral rivers on the left. Vestibular acquired that I also stenotic. In non contrast in hand MI. The following findings have been correlated with many diseases. So. At least advanced state of it. Elongation of the saku time more than one. 0.5 to 1.6 mm, non visible of the endo lymphatic duct and side. Reduce fluid length within the cochlear aqueduct. Contrast and hand amalgam. The following finding on delay post contrast 3 d player support endo lymphatic eyebrow with var variable performance to detect linear disease. Vestibular endolympathic space occupying more than 33% of the vestibular vestibule. Cochlear endolympathic space enlarged, displacing a resonant membrane circle larger than otric wall. So in the image A, note the clear delineate of the enhancing scala vestibular vestibuli and scala tympani with in between the non-enhancing cochlear duct or scalar media, visible as a thin hypo and ten line, arrowhead indicating. It's no more finding for A. In B, the non-enhancing dilated cochlear duct arrowhead indicated can be seen as a small non-enhancing nodule bulging into the enhanced scala vestibule. Cochlear hydro grade one, according to the beta classification. C. The enlarged scala media of cochlear duct is completely pushing away the scala vestibular and can be seen as band like hypo intense arrow head indicated in the mid and apical turn of the cochlea. Cochlear hydrograde 2 according to Barat classification. In the A image, the circles small arrowhead in the cave and autocon large arrowhead indicated can nicely be discriminated. There are no signs of a vestibular hydro. B. In this case, the circular large arrow indicated normally the smallest of the two vestibular sites. 
has become a core or larger than what they call small arrowhead indicated. But it is not confluent. In the Barat transmission using the three state grading system, it is regarded as normal. However, this could be regarded as a mild form of vestibular hydro and should be considered abnormal. Vestibular hydro grade one is the all state grading system. In the MHC, the is large of the sample and what they call arrowhead indicated, which have become confluent but still are surrounded by very lymphatic contrast and hence arrow indicated. According to the Barat classification, C state grading system. This grade one vestibular hydro. However, using the whole state grade system, this become grade two vestibular hydro. MHD. Note enlargement and complement of circle, circle and oticon without surrounding contrast. There is only some contrast visible in the base of the posterior semicircular canal. The barred classification using three state grading. This is considered grade two vestibular hydro. Using four state grading system, it's become a grade three vestibular hydro. Axial CD flare image of right ear. For our the intravenous administration of the a double dose of GD at the level of vestibule, there is a high, the, a right side cochlear hydro grade one, small arrow head indicated. Now that the very lymphatic enhance of the cochlea, small arrow indicated, and vestibule large arrow indicated, is more pronounced on the right side. The more pronounced enhance of <coughs> the very lymphatic space of the affected side of patient with mini disease can be regarded as sensitive and specific for mini disease and is caused by disturbance of the blood perigrated barrier. <laughs> Take home message. At high resolution temporal bone CT, a smaller or obliterated vestibular aqueduct is more often seen in ear affected with mineral disease. The morphology substrate of mineral disease i.e. endolymphatic hydro has become visible using high resolution or more high technique. Thank you.